This portion of New Day Northwest is sponsored by Brides Club. It's a new day all over. When you plan a wedding, it's easy to get sticker shock. So today we're meeting professionals with the five best money saving tips that will keep the quality high for your wedding event, but also affordable. Please welcome from the Wedding Expo and BridesClub.com, Brad Buckles. Good to have you, you back. Thank you. How you doing? You're I'm all doing dressed good. for the wedding. Look at you. I yes. love this bow tie in that color. So let's go over some of these tips. One is to get married on a weekday or even a Friday night. A lot of the facilities in the Puget Sound will offer a little bit of a discount in getting married in what they will call the off-season time of the week. Friday night's not a bad night to get married. Friday night is not a bad night. That at all. seems like a perfectly good one. Number two, cut the bar bill. How do you do this? Signature drinks are very fun right now. People love to have their own personal touch to the drink, and then allocating just beer and wine to the tab will help them control some of the costs until they talk to their wedding planner. And Ken, is it okay to turn it into a cash bar after a certain time or for the bride and groom drinks? it's very fine. <laughs> it's very good. For the father of the bride it's the best tip in town. <laughs> that seems like a reasonable thing. I think most people are accepting the fact that the economy can be difficult at times. Yeah. And people want if they want to continue drinking they're happy to pick up their right. own tab. And it's a nice thing to do for a young couple too, right? You don't want their wedding to cost a fortune. Um, tip number three, don't let the flowers go to waste. So how do you multipurpose the flowers? There are so many good ideas. One is to donate the flowers after the reception to like a hospital or a library. Heaven forbid you have your kids take them to their teachers after school the next day. <laughs> Very appreciated. Um, a lot of times you can use them for the ceremony and then take them over to the reception for centerpieces and favors and other decor items. Right. I've seen that where a bridal bouquet or the bridesmaids may put their flowers around the cake or on the tables. Why not? Because you're done with it Absolutely. from the ceremony. Absolutely. So that makes sense. Tip four, attend as many bridal shows and open houses as you can. Are it's, you sure? Because it's so confusing once you know all those choices. All I say is that women love to window shop, right? <laughs> we like to buy, too. You like to buy, That's okay. That's the problem when you know all the options. I like women that buy. That's a good thing. But window shopping is always good. Getting yeah. educated on what your choices are is good. And there's nothing like going to a bridal show to meet all the variety of choices in front of you. Well, you can not only see it in person, but you can meet some of the vendors and really see who you click with, right? The wedding professionals important. spend a lot of time preparing for these shows and for their booths and their displays, and that's how you get a chance to really find out what they're doing. All right, well, let's go across here and meet a couple of professionals. Right now, we have Kara Lynch, a bridal consultant, who's going to tell us about tip number five, or up to tip number five, and floral designer Maureen Croft, who has some ideas for us. How are you guys? Good, thank you. So, Kara, tip number five is hire a wedding planner, which I really do believe in because otherwise you will lose your mind. <laughs> Tell me how that will save you money. You know, a lot of times we know professionals. You know, we may get special deals with professionals professionals, um, you know, pre-wedding, we're going to help you do all the, you know, find your venue, take, talk about your style, talk about your vision, and then help execute that on the final day. And then we do all the stuff in between as well. Right. So, and oh, you I know where the deals are. So you yes. can, you know, cut a little bit off of all those things if we were out a la carte a la carte shopping. Correct, yeah. You know, the relationships we build as coordinators with our client and the professionals really come into play at a wedding. Nine times out of ten, some coordinators can save you more money than they actually cost. Wow, that would be good. Yeah. Then you kind of, you see, I would look at that as you earned money. My husband would say, no. <laughs> <laughs> Maureen, you've got the flowers going here. These are beautiful. Thank and the you. point we want to make with these is not only what's on trend, but the fact that some things don't have to cost the most to be the most beautiful. So would you first of all just describe exactly. these three things that we've got displayed? Okay, well first we have kind of a rustic look. I love that. And the burlap is still very popular. Yes, thank goodness because that is a good deal. Yes, it is. And a good way to save is to use a single variety variety of flowers mm -hmm. in mass. And so, hydrangeas are gorgeous. They yeah, are this hydrangeas, is actually, yes, right? These Beautiful. are hydrangeas and, and they take up a lot of space visually. So you don't need as many stems to make a really big yeah. look. And don't they and look so, luxurious mm -hmm. when it's a big, huge They're blossom They're so like romantic that? and fluffy. I just I I love, love hydrangeas. That. Okay, and so then, if you like the more traditional, yeah, the and pink this is, and the white. Yeah, this is the more vintage mm -hmm. look. And see, now what's happening is vintage is kind of becoming more sophisticated. It's still really popular. But we're moving away from the burlap and the mason jars and more into the lace and the pearls. Right. That so, is gorgeous. Um, it's kind of like becoming a more upscale vintage that's really popular now. All different sizes of roses in right. there. And then this and one, then the colors are just great. Coral is 
just the hottest color. We're doing My a lot fave. of coral weddings and, of course, crystals. Yeah. We're seeing crystals everywhere still, and they've been popular for ages, but they're you just can not hang going these away. babies on they're anything so and just scatter them on the mm -hmm. table and they look this is so cute too these little ruffles those are just little the... some little accents that we yes. also offer custom all right accents. so you have some tips on how we can save money on the flowers but here's what we're going to do first so audience we need your help <laughs> we're going to go one by one i want you to clap for the one you think is the most expensive so let's start with number 1 who thinks this one is the most expensive okay Number two, a little less. Number three, they think number one is the most expensive. So tell That's us what's correct. That's, That's correct. That is definitely correct. You are and very the reason smart audience. <laughs> Good job. And the reason is that it features David Austin garden roses, which are so gorgeous pretty. and oh fragrant gosh. and just absolutely lovely. And then the dangling garden fairy roses, and it's got all kinds of gorgeous stuff. And there's a lot of flowers here. There so are a lot why. of flowers yeah. there. But when you look at this one, is this the least expensive of the yes. three? Yes, correct. In, you described the reason why, because it was mm -hmm. one variety right. and all put together like this. Mm -hmm. But I think that's lovely. And you could rent and hang a few little crystals on absolutely. that, and you'd be very close to that. Is that Big number one over it's there. True, Thank you guys very yeah. much. So we'll post all of these tips online for you so that you can uh, review them. And the Wedding Expo is running this fall in an area near you in Seattle on September 8th and 9th, in Tacoma on September 15th and the 16th, and in Everett you will be able to go on September 22nd and 23rd. For all the details, including a list of the vendors we've talked about, please visit our website right after the show. Thank you all very much. I'm just going to stand here and smell these roses. It is so fragrant. Next up, a crucial conversation for couples to have before tying the knot, finances. What to plan for with your money and what to expect. We'll be right back with New Day's Fall Wedding Special.